Uh, today uh, we go through how to install a Brave a browser in Fossa Pub 64. Uh, I find a Brave browser uh, very quick and fast um, compared to uh, my uh, preference, previous preference of uh, Vivaldi. So uh, there are uh, other uh, ISOs of Puppy Linux that's probably easier to install the latest uh, Brave uh, browser. Uh, but in Fossa Pub 64, uh, I cannot use the command of app, uh, app installs so app. So you can't, uh, so in, uh, uh, for example, Bookworm uh, uh, Pub 64, you can use the uh, terminal app command. But here, we, what we have to do is in Fossa Pub, we have to uh, go ahead and start up the uh, uh, Firefox in my case and uh, just type in uh, download brave and you should get a uh, uh, similar as here and then we'll simply go to uh, download brave for Linux and then what we can do is just go next is go ahead and go to nightly channel so if you can use the uh, apt command, you can just simply follow this very simple uh, 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 instructions without sudo because in uh, Puppy Linux we don't use sudo. So, but uh, because uh, we I can't use the apt command, what we have to do is go to nightly channel um, and then uh, go to. Uh, a github available in github so we can go ahead and go there and what we want is the, a dot deb file but i'll just show you here available github and you're going to get to this uh, screen so this is the latest and what you want to do is <coughs> go to assets so we wanna the, there are uh, several of the uh, choices here but what we wanna do is get the top and then go to assets and then go to DEB file uh, download so let's see where we can uh, so here it is it's, uh, my uh, a computer is AMD um, 64 so if you have a, a mostly uh, uh, most of you uh, will need a AMD uh, 64 dot a DEB unless you have a 32-bit machine so we'll just go ahead and simply click on that and then it's gonna download I've actually downloaded uh, one already so we'll just go ahead and close uh, go to the download here and this is the download so we'll just go ahead and simply uh, click on this, uh, this is the download uh, uh, folder. So we'll just simply click, and then it's gonna extract and do its thing. So we'll just go ahead and sub. So you can see that uh, I've already installed it. So, but now next problem you'll encounter is when you go ahead and start the uh, menu and go to internet and Brave Browser nightly here. You it will not. Uh, it will not launch so what you have to do is uh, you can go ahead and go to the USR I'll show you the uh, a path root applications and then go to it's actually uh, USR share applications and then take a look at the uh, take a look at the uh, a brave browser uh, a desktop so here is a nightly so we'll just go ahead and click it to the uh, open it as a text so it's going to give you a command of how to start this uh, browser so 
it's not the regular brave uh, from the browser what you have to do is you have to type this whole thing here so we'll just make a copy and we'll just we don't need the incognito for this and then what we need to do is just start a uh, uh, terminal and then uh, I'll just go ahead and start this now because it, it, we're running Puppet Linux um, as a root what we have to do is put this command no sandbox so this is the uh, command that will start the uh, Brave browser so we'll just go ahead and click and then it'll start the Brave browser so you're gonna get this uh, message error you're using an unsupported command line so because of I've already gone through the configuration from my own preference it's gonna look sorry about the uh, ambulance noise we'll give it a second now because of I've already uh, synchronized uh, and then set up uh, my own browser uh, preference it's gonna look obviously very different but that's how you go ahead and download and then uh, start a, uh, a a brave browser now once you know the uh, terminal command to uh, start the uh, a brave browser next uh, is what we want to do is modify the menu uh, so it will go ahead and start the Brave browser right now if you just click on it you won't start so what we have to do is go to the configuration file for the menu and then uh, adjust the uh, a command so we'll go ahead and close this and then we'll go to the uh, uh, so rocks configuration file uh, for the menu is uh, je uh, .wmrc so we'll just go ahead and click this and then we'll open this up in Genie and then here is the uh, I, so here is the Genie that's opened up and uh, here is the Brave browser um, command and here is the uh, USR being Brave Browser uh, dash nightly now you don't really need the uh, USR bin but we'll just go ahead and leave it all, all you need to do is just go ahead and space double uh, dash no sandbox sandbox uh, has to do with a command of running it running the program as a root so we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, uh, save that, and then we'll go ahead and close, and we'll go ahead and uh, force the JWM to uh, read the uh, 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 changed configuration file, and then we'll just go ahead and close everything so we can go ahead and take a, a quick look, and uh, we'll go ahead and start the uh, menu again we'll go to internet and we'll go ahead and uh, uh, click the uh, click the uh, uh, menu so again you get this com uh, uh, warning screen and I've been unable to find out how to get rid of it uh, because we're using the sandbox but otherwise you this is how you start the uh, 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 a brave browser from the uh, menu